Can anyone suffer from deafness, from blindness, from dumbness, even if given their full capacity to see, to hear, or to understand? Apparently, according to Jesus, the answer is yes. I have seen this with me and my mom. She would tell me one thing, I would say yes, but I do not listen. You will see this in husbands and wives. The, the wife will keep on talking, probably, telling. We have to listen to women. I, that was the topic last night. Um, we had this uh, video call and it said, women, we have to listen to the wisdom of women. And sometimes we just closed our, close to our ears to the things that we do not want to hear. And that's a difficult thing for a student. Um, we are all disciples, meaning students of Christ. And we ought to be like children, sponges, with everything that we have, the Word of God, what, what's happening in our lives, everything we hear and we see in the light of God. However, those who do not see, those who do not want to see, or only see the things that they want to, those who do not hear what they ought to, they look but do not see and hear, and listen, hear, but do not listen or understand. In other words, those who seek God will see God, will find God. Wisdom, peace, truth in all things, as they are presented to them in any given situation. My brothers and sisters, if we seek God, we will find God in all things. If we seek God, we will find God in all things, everywhere we look. However, those who seek other things rather than God will find nothing, even with the best things they have in life. Those who seek other things will find meaning to nothing, even with the best things they have in life. Jesus reminds us today that his disciples hear and understand the parables in a different way. God blesses those who seek him with all their heart, with a gift of understanding. Just like the disciples in today's reading, Jesus wants us to see, hear, and understand. Jesus wants us to become rich, spiritually how we can grow rich spiritually by opening ourselves to the word of god each day and nourishing our souls with the sacraments and enjoy the presence of jesus everywhere in creation in one another at all times and in all circumstances whether good or bad to allow the loving ways of God to penetrate our hearts. Listen, hear, and see God. Today we pray for our loved ones. I am sure I have them too. Others who are seekers but yet do not have the proper disposition to seek God in all things. Maybe we should pray more for them. Maybe we should be like God to them so it will be easier for them to see. We can be the spectacles. What do you call it? The glasses. Spectacles is like British, right? The glasses for them. For us who might hear but still not understand, who might look but cannot see, our prayer is this, that God might grant us 
the ears that hear him, the eyes that see him, and the heart that loves him.